Hello students. Now, today uh, we will discuss electric field. Okay, electric field uh, from electrostatics. Okay, so we have topic. We have. You can see that this is the electric field. That's the chapter second one. Electric field due to point charge. How we can find out the electric field due to the point charge? We have already, okay, formula derived from the Coulomb's law in electrostatic, okay. According to that, by using the formula of Coulomb's law, we can find out the electric field due to point charge. We have a coordinate frame. This is the x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis, okay. And a point charge plus Q is placed at the origin of the coordinates. And P is a point at a distance vector R, okay, R, where the test charge is placed. So definitely here will be force experienced due to this point charge. Now we can find out, okay, what is the force experienced by this charge by using the Coulomb's law. So we can write the here's uh, suppose uh, here plus Q equal to point point charge charge okay uh, Q naught equal to test test charge test charge vector R equal to position vector okay position vector cap of r unit vector unit vector this is the unit vector okay so by using uh, Coulomb's law in electrostatics what we can write so from Coulomb's law what is the Coulomb's law? F equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2, but here you will take the Q, Q naught. Okay? Q, Q naught by R square that you will take. But if there is the, okay, uh, unit, unit vectors, then you can also write here, this is the unit vector. Okay? Now, uh, we have formula, but also we got the electric field, okay, due to point charge. Since we have formula, since E equal to, or uh, formula we have, uh, E equal to, what we can write here? E equal to limit, E equal to LT Q naught tends to 0 F by Q naught. Okay, this is the formula from electric field. Electric field means what? Already we know that the electric field E equal to E equal to F by Q naught means force experience per unit test charge is called the electric field. Okay, and you can also take because it's okay, you can take from uh, limit Q naught tends to zero. Okay, that and this equal to that so according to Coulomb's law and this will you will put here so therefore you can also write vector e equal to lt q naught tends to zero at the place of f you will put this value so here it is a 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q q naught by r square cap of you can also write okay and here is Q naught this video. Okay, so Q naught, Q naught this you can cancel out and finally here is E vector e equal to okay LT Q naught okay tends to 0 and here is a 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q by R square and cap of R this you can write. 
and also you can multiply whenever you will multiply okay or by dividing r on the rhs or you can write e equal to lp q not tends to 0 1 pi 4 pi epsilon not q q by r square into r by r can be right here okay can you multiply by r and also can be divided because if this will cancel out the remains term will find out and now multiply so you can write here e equal to lt q naught tends to 0 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r q and this you can write r or cap of r this you can write and one more terms you can write here lt q naught q naught tends to 0 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r q and this you can write vector r can we write okay so we got the electric field this formula and also you can write in the magnitudes in magnitude magnitude you can write e equal to this we remove only you can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square this will be the magnitude value okay whenever we will place the point charge on a coordinate frame okay for that case we got this formula and this you can use for find the numericals and also we will use okay this formula in the and Gauss theorem also okay student so this is the electric field due to point charge you can write this one okay thank you